Hey, um, today I just wanted to show you a quick fix for the ballistic visual effects. Uh, it, um, integrated with, uh, survival game kit. Um, there have been a few people who requested that, uh, I fix a few of the replication issues. I wasn't aware that it wasn't replicated to begin with. I, I thought it was, to be honest. But after checking into it, it wasn't. But it's actually a pretty easy fix. So without further further ado, I will get into the fixing that right now. So the first thing you want to do is head over to here once you have your project loaded up. Go to Survival Game Kit and search for Master Weapon. PP Master Range Weapon. And we're also going to want to open up Master Weapon. Okay, first in BB Master Range Weapon, you're going to want to head to Weapon Trace. So. Um, head, you want to type in Weapon Trace in My Blueprint, and then head down to Functions, Weapon Trace, and it'll take you to here where we put this so if so first we want to take all this control C right click or cop and copy it either way no or copy it or and we're just gonna delete that and then you want to so, okay this right here the multicast spawn hit emitter that we removed and drag it by the way, or if you need to do it, multicast spawn hit emitter, and it'll give you the same thing. You want to bring this in. You want to connect the hit result, and I'm pretty sure that's it for this connection. Just gonna check this one down here. Yeah, that's all. And you want to drag this over and reconnect this. And drag all this into place again because I dragged it out before. So that's there like that. And then we want to head over to the BP Master Range weapon that we opened. And in the event graph over here, my blueprints, you want to go down to multicast and I'm not gonna make this look pretty you can make it look better after I'm just gonna control V this in here and I want to connect this to the normal impact you're gonna want to connect the rotation there the location on the make transform you're gonna want to connect to location Yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the location for now. And, um... From here, I'm just checking my copy now. I have a few things removed. Um... Okay, so... We don't need to check the physical material because Ballistic Visual Effects does that. Visual Effects does this, this, this. So we can... Drag these up out of the way for now. Or we can just, honestly, we can just remove these. Since we won't need them anymore. Then we're going to plug this into check the check for Mealy. And if Mealy is false, instead of running into there, we want it to run down to here. So now it won't uh, play the range stuff from AL from a that survival game kit anymore, but it'll instead it'll use plastic visual effects. Um, you can actually 
I'll hold alt and click or right click and break links there because so, we don't actually need this you can literally remove all this so you can remove this keep everything else yeah all this can go um another thing i'll look into for another video is melee because i'm not sure if the melee decals will work for ballistic visual effects um i'm going to do a couple different things so it doesn't have like bullet hole hit markers and things like that but it shouldn't be too difficult um i'm pretty sure that's it though you can pile and save I'm going to test it out. It might be a little bit difficult to test it out on one screen here. I'll just have my other one monitor. Try to drag it all into one monitor. Play. Also really annoying how that's all the way over here. I usually drag it over near the weapons. I only need to walk a couple feet when I'm testing. Either that or just camera location. Or... Before you play, you can select if you spawn at the player start. Oh, I forgot bullets. And... Oops. Another thing I want to show later is how to, like, when you reload, you'll drop the clip on the ground. You'll release it and put it back at the same time. Um, okay, we never put any hit particles on him. So I'm just gonna on another screen. I'm on the other screen now, moving the other guy. Okay, now let's see how I'll do this. Okay, you just need to really see the tree. Oh, I think the there's one more thing. You can see that they're shooting and you can see the bullets hitting them both, but there's an issue here. Set surface type. Um for this we want to um Head to our advanced locomotion blueprints ALS base character. I forgot we need to fix the capsule collision because right now the capsule is blocking bullets. So you want to do so you want to go into your ALS base character, click capsule component, and scroll down to collision. Instead of pawn, we're gonna go custom and we're gonna ignore a weapon. Um Ignore trigger, ignore penetrator. It's gonna test that out. I'm pretty sure that will fix those issues with not actually hitting the tree. It's gonna run all the way over here and grab a weapon. Okay, it still seems to be a collision issue here. But the capsule is not there anymore. Okay, it's with the set surface type. Um, I'm gonna pause the video and see what's wrong here. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I forgot to plug something in quickly, so um, I disconnect it, so it's going to disconnect it. So you want to go into your BP Master Weapon, and in mul from Multicast in your Event Graph, um, the, sp the Spawn Qubit Impact FX Emitter you put here, you want to drag from Hit Result over to multicast spawn hit emitter hit result and plug that in there and boom done and everything should work
just fine. I didn't I didn't even really plan to do a video at this time because I don't know, it was like five after five when I started. Kinda had a weird sleep last night. Woke up two. So uh figured I'd just do a random video now since I wasn't too too tired. I have lava set on the rock by the way, just so I had one of the splattering ones to test with. Trees work. I know I haven't set blood on the material for the character, but you can just set flesh to the character's mannequin material or whatever the material is you're using. And I'll just turn this guy around so you can see that it's replicated. Not just on the one client. Disappears over time because for performance reasons. You want to keep. You don't want to have it spawning forever, especially in a multiplayer game. Boom. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna show this all at once. Oh yeah, let's do this. I don't know why I don't do it. Just Shift F1. I was used to clicking print screen from before. Oh. I decided to figure out that option. As you can see, it's splattering. Sorry if the bullets are a little loud. And it's also setting, so like if there's a default material, it won't leave the hole, but if you set any materials, it'll put the proper holes. Lava well, doesn't have a hole, so. Yeah, that's that. So, um. That's about everything. If you like the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to let me know that. And let me know if you want any new videos, if you have any requests. Um, join my Discord if you need to get in contact with me or anybody else. There's also a lot of information slowly building up in there now. So, have a good day. That's about everything.